What's that like being obviously independent, female first? I don't know anything different. I mean, right. I don't know, I'm sorry, right. To be honest, I feel everything. like that's our mother's makeup. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, totally. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to an all new HB Fit TV episode. We have a really exciting one today. We are here with the co founders of Wander Beauty. We have Divya and Lindsay, and we are going to jump right into some content about entrepreneurship and what it takes to create you know, your own brand, specifically in a saturated market like beauty. So, first, just tell me a little bit about the story of Wander Beauty, because I'd love to know how the two of you found each other, how you decided mm -hmm. to start, where did you start with one core product? Because now I don't know how many years you are into the brand, but it seems like you guys are killing it. I'm a huge fan, so I'd love to know how it all started. I'll let you start. Yeah, so we literally met at a party, and that's how it all started. Um, Lindsay and I have a friend who's a hairdresser in common, and he was having a big salon opening, and I had just had my second child, so working mom, two kids under two, pulling my hair out, have to go to work, like nothing in my beauty bag that was helping me get there, putting my makeup on on the subway. I meet Lindsay at this party, we're having this whole conversation about our love of beauty and our love of travel, two things that we are both so passionate about and are core to our being and our soul. Mm -hmm. So I invited her to come have lunch at my house, um, I had a newborn baby right next to me who I was nursing at the time. And the two of us just like hatched the idea for Wander Beauty on my couch. We just had this common pain point of we are time starved, busy women on the go. And there was no beauty brand that was speaking to us. And we felt like if there's no beauty brand speaking to us, there must be so many other women like us mm -hmm. that are experiencing the same problem. We surveyed 100 women, realized they had a lot of the same pain points. They were really going through this I'm time starved, I'm on the move, I need multitaskers, I need multitasking beauty essentials. Mm -hmm. And for us, that woman, we're obsessed with serving her. So we really, she cares about her skin, she wants clean beauty, she wants things that work with her skin, not against it. Right. So it was the whole premise of let's create multitasking beauty essentials so you can be gorgeous on the go, but let's give you good for you ingredients from mm -hmm. around the globe, from our travels, hence the name Wander. Hence the A in Wander is a compass because you never know where you're going. Mm -hmm. And we really launched with this one core product that Lindsay will tell you about. Yeah, so the, the original OG. Because <laughs> Ooh, I, I love, love this. this. <laughs> we have lots more products now, but we launched with one product because we really wanted to show everybody who we are. We create multitasking beauty essentials and we're really paring down your beauty routine because as a model for 12 years, I worked with the best beauty experts and makeup artists all over the world, and they would carry around suitcases full of makeup, and then my myself too, I had so much makeup, stuff I wasn't using, product that was just going to waste. Right. So really, um, what we wanted to do is just show women like less is more, and you can look beautiful and gorgeous on the go with mm -hmm. just a few key essentials, which is what we're creating. So we launched with our On The Glow Blush and Illuminator. So this is the ultimate multitasker and beauty enhancer. On one side, you have a lip, cheek, and eye product. It's oh, a wow. gorgeous cream formula that's really hydrating, rich in antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E, hyaluronic acid. And then the, the other side, you have our Nude Glow Illuminator, which is just so beautiful on the skin. Oh, and it really so works for all skin tones because we really test and try all of our formulas and shades on multiple ethnicities. Speaking of multiple ethnicities mm -hmm. and tones, I feel like you got... The reason why I'm such a fan is because mm -hmm. when I first got your products, I. I think my first product that I was introduced to was the foundation sticks. Mm -hmm. And I think I yeah. got two different colors and I was so genuinely surprised because a little bit of mixing goes a long way mm -hmm. with, with my skin color and these two shades were so on the, on the money. It was amazing. And also they kind of got me, they almost worked year round for me because I could use one shade when I was tan mm -hmm. and the other shade when I was pale and then when I was in the middle I could mix. So mm -hmm. that to me and the formula yeah. is so creamy. So it's so yeah. hydrating. It's amazing. So I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like it. The packaging is perfect. Yeah. 
It's literally and precise. So exactly. you're always working yeah. out, you're running around, you need gym. This is like a gym bag essential. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. It, it completely is. This is great for like all of our foundation or like spot treatment. And mm -hmm. I love how you said that you can mix the shades because of the formula. That's what makes us so unique is we're creating these really hydrating skincare enriched formulas that look really natural and beautiful on the skin. Because we literally. understand like women have, I have melasma, I have, ros I literally have it all. I have acne, rosacea, everything. And so you want formulas that are going to give you beautiful coverage, but look right. like skin, it look like you. And exactly. Not mask you. Right. So everything we create gives you that coverage, but the confidence in that hydrating formula looks so beautiful. Right. And I yeah. feel like whenever I wear makeup that is super it's masking, like yeah. yeah, gorge. That it literally feels like my skin can't breathe. Mm -hmm. That it's, I'm like suffocating You're my a mask. face. Yeah. You're wearing a mask. It's and this crazy. Is not that at all. I feel Everything. like that's our mother's makeup. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, totally. We reinvented the stick foundation because old stick foundations were really chalky and dry mm -hmm. and yeah. just like tugged on your skin. Like this has such a gorgeous glide because we enriched it with coconut oil. Oh, wow. Which is really, really so good for your skin all year round, like you were saying. Totally. So tell me, what are some of the pitfalls that you like ran into in the beginning of your business, things that other people should avoid or some learnings that you found that you weren't necessarily expecting going into the beauty world? So I think one thing that we've always been obsessive about is listening to our customer. And I think that our original strategy was that we launched on direct to consumer site and then we also launched on QVC. That was an original launch partner of ours. Later on, we expanded our distribution to net porte which is US, UK, and Asia. Now we're in Sephora around the globe. Wow. Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. Australia, New Zealand, US and Canada, 350 stores. So we have this expansive distribution network, which allows us to build awareness for our brand and grow our brand. But I think the connection with the customer and the core feedback loop of hearing her, understanding what she likes, what she doesn't like, mm -hmm. what to fix, really came on a little bit later when we really started pouring time and energy in our direct-to-consumer model. So once we really started building our web and um, mobile platforms yeah. and really making that our mo ro most robust channel, which mm -hmm. is now like 80% of our monthly business, oh, wow. is really direct with consumers, we are now able to get such an incredible feedback loop that informs us when we're doing product development, that informs us when we're doing strategy. It gives us an opportunity to literally own the bathroom experience of this woman wow. because she's Time star, she's on the go, she wants essentials, and like we want to give her everything she's using. Mm -hmm. So we're categoryless. People are like, are you a color brand? Are you skin? Are you hair? Like, we're Wander Beauty. We're like multitasking beauty essentials. We're gonna right. give you everything from hair to face to body to skin. It's gonna really like run the gamut, but it's gonna be an essential. It's gonna be something that is so core to your routine that you use almost every day or you right. really love. Right. And we're gonna really focus on innovation every single time. Um, we put something out. And so mm -hmm. I feel like that focus came for us just a touch later. We were okay. so focused on build distribution, be in the places where people shop. And I feel like if we were to do it all over again, mm -hmm. we would have, as a team, poured a little bit more energy into building our own channel because the feedback we've gotten from it has it's been just, invaluable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So do you think that that really happens through, where do you think that the 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 conversation is? Is it is it it's on your website through like customer service customer service emails phone calls social media instagram so investing yeah. investing in customer service is really like Lindsay will talk Absolutely. to you a little bit about how we kind of crowdsource mm -hmm. and involve our our team yeah. in in the process and our our yeah. clients whenever we're stuck on like you know shades or something for example our exquisite eye liquid shadow we had so many um shades to like in the process of development we we're like we need to pare this down to the essentials um women's favorites so we just posted it on our social media we asked them to vote and so that way we're involving them in the process of right. product development and they get more excited about it totally they feel like that they want and they're going to wear it, and people are obsessed about it with it yes it's amazing they feel like and they're, they're part of shades. the, the main yeah. so many times shades formulas what do you mm -hmm. see want to see from us next we're teasing stuff in our own ig stories like the engagement from the consumer and the feedback is just so valuable to us right. like we're on message boards and forums on facebook and like we're their beauty lovers mm -hmm. and we just ask them questions we're like right. tell us what you want because our obsession in creating a brand is servicing our customer. Right. Mm -hmm. Like th we are wholeheartedly obsessed with this woman who is really not being spoken to. There's so many artistry brands right. that are telling you you need a lot of steps and a lot of technique and mm -hmm. TLI shadow. And there's a lot of stuff happening on the millennial circuit, which is also really interesting and fun, but it's not speaking to our core group. Right. And so like the professional woman, 
the mom, the working mom, like these mm -hmm. are our core customer groups right. that we are just obsessed with and we, we want to solve problems in her life and her beauty routine mm -hmm. every day. Totally. What do you guys think that your competitive advantage is at being a, like a smaller independent company over you know some of these larger beauty brands who have been established for years and kind of are, for lack of a better word, like slow to the update? It boils down to one word, risk. We take risk. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. very, very focused on innovating. So we don't believe in imitating, we believe in innovating. Mm -hmm. So when we bring that lens to product development, when we sit down and create a product and we look at a white space like, I would love to have this, or you would love to have that, or both of us really use this core item every single day, and can we make it better mm -hmm. and more efficient, yeah. and can we pare down the bag and streamline your routine and give you fewer, better essentials? We really have this collaborative, innovative product development process that I think is core and different to our brand. But what's amazing is the technology. Right. Everything you get from us, from that stick foundation to our Wanderlust powder foundation, which is truly a liquid mm -hmm. that gets baked into a powder. Oh, wow. And it has no fillers, no binders. It's Can not a traditional powder. Mm -hmm. Everything free. we create, yeah. the mascara that Lindsay obsessed over for two and a half years. <laughs> yeah. You know, we really the take testing, this lens of innovation. The testing process and the innovation is so key. Everything that we create has to be true to our brand, which is it's a multitasker, so more than one formula, more than one use. We mm -hmm. just launched our Glotion. So Ooh. this is a liquid highlighter in the tube. This is so cool. Which so, I use as a radiance this primer. This is like amazing. I put this like all over I my face. I put this all over my body. <laughs> oh, wow. And again, like it's so warm and like universally flattering. So it's going to work for all skin tones because we try and test it. And then what's this so is beautiful. cool is in what? the cap, there's another yes. little top. When you take this off, this is a stick highlighter. So two in one. Oh, wow. This is so on brand for us and so cool. Like women have been loving this. And it's just a great way to customize so you your can put on me, you'll see it. Oh yeah, here. So here I'll can, do this. I'll, yeah. I'll do the stick because you so can really see it on my skin tone. Oh wow, stick. beautiful! So one, two, which is so cool, and it's skincare and rich. Oh, There's lots of flower this. extract and fruit extracts, all of which are like anti-inflammatory, yeah, antioxidants. Also has system, such a light fragrance. Yeah. And which, everything, no synthetic fragrance. So right. everything mm -hmm. is free of parabens, free of phthalates, free of mineral oil, free of synthetic fragrance. Like mm -hmm. we care about our skin. As co-founders of a yeah. brand, we we spend money taking care of our skin. Why are we going to ruin it right. yeah. by putting other stuff that's not working with our skin and working against it? So you'll see a lot more skin from us this year. Mm -hmm. We've been working exciting. on a lot of very exciting that's stuff. super exciting. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Okay, so something else that people like talk about all the time is like work-life balance. And I am like so over this term. I feel like what it should really be is work-life harmony. Um, and I feel like when you do what you love, it's hard to turn off, but it's almost kind of like, why would you? Because you're just loving it and it's a part of your life. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit, obviously you both are hardworking women, families, traveling, everything. Mm -hmm. So what, how do you have your work-life harmony? What do you think? Oh God. <laughs> I mean, um, I, well, I think it's what you said is so true. Like I really love what I do, so I don't really ever have to turn it off. Right. Um, I do turn off the emails at a certain point. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but like, for, for example, yesterday, I'm really into photography and product photography, and I create a lot of the creative images that are on our social and website and banners, things like that. So all day yesterday, and just because I enjoy it so much, I'm shooting, and I see the light change in my apartment, it becomes sunset. So I'm like, oh my God, this is the perfect time to shoot this. So it really doesn't shut off, and I'm right. constantly thinking about what new product, like problem solution throughout my day, what new product is going to solve this problem or mm -hmm. downsize my makeup bag more. So I don't think it really stops. But it doesn't. Because you mm -hmm. I think I right. think we obsessively work, mm -hmm. and I think that we have really brought an incredible team around us that mm -hmm. shares our values. Mm -hmm. um, I think both of us really share the core value of like, we work hard, we play hard. When we work, we really work and we give it our 3,000% and we're so focused. Like we sit in a pre-D room every Tuesday and we don't leave. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we, we're in there, we're trapped in this room. Mm -hmm. It sounds crazy, we, but we, we love it. It's all like, over our bodies it's our, we're testing and testing. I it's our that. mad science lab. And like people come in and out of this room, but the two of us are literally there all day. Like, don't mm -hmm. try and reach me. I'm not answering mm -hmm. my phone. Right. Like, you know, we are so focused on what we're doing when we're working. And I just feel like as a mom and having two young kids and a husband and all that other stuff, like it's so important to me that when I'm with my family, I'm present yeah. and I'm like engaged with them and I'm able to like 
take my kids to tennis on Sunday and like be there for their lesson and be the, be the mom who's like with doing the boomerangs and them go. I'm focused. It's good they don't get cell service and where they play <laughs> where they have their tennis lessons because that would be a problem. But when I'm with them, I'm with them, and when yeah. I'm working, I'm working. There's a lot of times I'm kind of doing both. And <laughs> Sarah's here today. Um, we have so many people on our team who have interviewed with us or um, spent time with us, and like it's. Lindsay, me, my son wants me to look at his homework. My daughter's coming right. in visiting us. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's just so much of the family like around us. My daughter's mm -hmm. literally grown up with the brand. Like she was a newborn baby when we first met, like oh a few goodness. weeks old. And our, every milestone that she's achieving, like is a milestone alongside mm -hmm. with our brand. And she's also obsessed with the brand. And I feel comfortable putting everything on her face right. because mm -hmm. it's good for her and it's right. okay. And it's clean and right. we made it so we know it's okay. Right. But it's just this experience of being so immersed in what you're doing. And I don't think it's a balance. I think that it's just, you're doing one or you're doing the other and you're doing them really well. Yeah. And then you just have to switch off when you're doing what? Right. Because I, I, I personally have never been able to understand the concept of work-life balance. My life is not in balance. It, <laughs> Being an entrepreneur means I'm, you know, I'm not in balance at all. Right. I'm all about giving my 3,000% to whatever I'm doing at the moment and living in that moment. Right. That's amazing. Also, how old is your daughter? <laughs> so she's going to be four in May. Oh so my goodness. So we worked on the business mm -hmm. for about a year before we launched, and we really wanted to make sure we had something innovative. We started with this formula from scratch, two shades, one product, and we launched it's amazing. Um, literally our birthdays now. It'll be yeah. our third birthday. Oh wow, that's incredible. Because year after she was born. I mean, it's also wild be to think, even like when I grew up, I like going into my mom's bathroom and trying on her products was such an integral part of like my experience with beauty at a, at a young age. So I can only imagine your daughter who not <laughs> only gets to play around with all these things, but like grow up in an environment mm -hmm. where beauty is like so open and talked about and like celebrated. Yeah, my celebrated. Son, my son goes to Sephora on the weekend. He's like, Mom, swatch me, swatch me, swatch me. <laughs> oh and it's like he's grown up with this experience that of like is being so around cute. the brand and being swatch with us. Swatch me. <laughs> I mean, it, you guys are both like rock stars and it sounds like you have a really rock star team and you guys have like, you know, kind of killed it from out the gate and you spent a lot of time, you know, understanding what your mission was mm -hmm. and identifying your audience. Have you guys received any pushback from the industry or retailers? Can you tell me about like how that process has been? Oh my God, do you remember, Lindsay? <laughs> Our first meetings, when we first were launching a brand, we had one product. Mm -hmm. And everyone kept saying to us, like, where's the collection? Where's the line? <laughs> right. Right. You're a beauty brand. Like, we're, I'm like, that's the point. Mm -hmm. Like, our girl, our woman, like, she wants one thing that mm -hmm. does 20 things. Right. So we're gonna give her one thing. We're gonna have everybody talking about this one thing when we launch. And that was like big mm -hmm. pushback in the early days. Yeah, I agree. Right? I mean, uh, there's been, so, there's been um, so much, I think that what's amazing is like, we are all about innovation. And so sometimes when we meet with um, teams, different teams, I won't say who, I'm laughing. they don't get it. They don't get it right away right. until they start seeing how much women do love the innovation because we're solving problems right. and we're giving them more. Mm -hmm. So I think at first it's a little hard to convince people of certain products and the innovation there, but it always pays off in the end when you take that risk, like you were saying. Right. Here's a great story. Baggage claim. Our gold microfiber mm -hmm. eye patch. Okay, Lindsay's been using eye patches forever okay mm -hmm. like she's like an eye patch girl she's like this is mm -hmm. my quick fix yes. she yeah. does it on planes like this whole mm -hmm. thing same i have hereditary the worst dark circles my dad looks like a bulldog thank you very much like <laughs> you know <laughs> I, dark circles bags you know now starting to get the lines the wrinkles everything so this is where do you see the signs of aging first your eyes right mm -hmm. so for us, we're like, this is something that like our customer wants and she mm -hmm. cares about and let's do this and here's this incredible innovative technology. You've got three layers here. You've got this intense concentrate serum here, which is gonna treat the eyes, give brightening effects, diminish the appearance oh, of fine lines and gorgeous. wrinkles. gorgeous. Yeah, so not only are they gorgeous, so cool. they legit work. Oh my gosh. So they have three layers, the concentrated serum, intense brightening with Camu Camu from Peru. Then you get a layer of elastic, which is not gonna make them slip. So you're gonna get the targeted experience of having I these hate stay when they on. Slip. You no. hate when that's and my pet feel it. Pet I know. And then it, it doesn't do the treatment yeah. and then the top is microfiber. Yeah. So it actually I retains woke up the and heat. they're like down on my Cheeks. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? It retains the heat. So these work, okay? Yeah. They li they are literally a miracle and an eye patch. These work. And so 
when we were testing this and we were working in and everyone we had test this formula just loved it we showed it to one of our retail partners they're like mm. yeah that's not for your brand like you're doing color like why are you trying to get into skin like who wants an eye patch from you like mm. we don't Lindsay and I looked at each other we're like you know what we're gonna do this yeah we're gonna yeah. do this because we know the feedback from our customers and our right. testers and our wander beauties of all age groups that were doing this it's gonna work this is literally one of our best selling products we have mm -hmm. sold 3.7 million units either sold or on order confirmed purchase order to release in the next few months of this eye mask. That's insane. So mm -hmm. thank you that we focus on <laughs> our gut. Mm -hmm. And our gut wow. always drives our business. As an entrepreneur, that's probably the best advice we mm -hmm. can give anyone is use your gut okay. and go totally. for it. So yeah. speaking of using your gut as, mm -hmm. you know, which we like to call at HB Fit, your first brain, <laughs> your do first you brain. think that being a female founder in this industry has given you an advantage? And what a, what a kind of, have you, have you found it difficult to be female founders in the beauty space? Because no, traditionally, obviously, beauty is is you know marketed to women, but I feel like in traditional spaces, it's so corporate and not really run by women. So, what's that like being obviously independent, female first? I don't know anything different. I mean, right, I know, I'm sorry, right. To be honest with you, like I'm very lucky. Um, like I've been a model for 12 years, surrounded by lots of women, lots of amazing, creative, talented beautiful women and then I met Divya and she's been like a, an amazing entrepreneur and mentor for me to learn so much from and then our entire team I'm surrounded by creative women so I feel very very lucky and yeah. inspired by everybody that I work with and I'm learning so much every single day. Every yeah. day we are learning. Yeah. Like right. we are growing as a team, we are growing as founders, mm -hmm. we're coming into our own, we're developing skills we've never had before, we're learning from each other every day which is mm -hmm. such a beautiful amazing thing for two co-founders to really share mm -hmm. and to like feel like we have different skills and we're growing both every day so much mm -hmm. um, and and there's a level of trust there right like you just really yeah. have to trust someone when they're making a decision that you may not agree with or you may not think it's the best thing but you just kind of go with it but what I find so amazing is that we really care about the customer and so when we think about our team they share that value and right. that is what we share women or men mm -hmm. that's irrelevant mm -hmm. they have to share the value and the trust and the respect that we have as core values i've worked my career entirely with women, with men. This is the first time I've worked with so many women. I gotta tell you, I love it. Minus the fact that sometimes I vacuum the office and there's just too much freaking hair. Okay? Minus that, like I love working with women. Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, I get into these modes where I need to think so I vacuum yeah. so I can think. I love that, that's your meditation. It's my meditation. I'm like, I need the dull noise to like just right. drown everything out so I can focus on what oh I'm thinking God, about. so funny so much stuff on the horizon. Yeah. We're super excited yeah. about it. We're taking lots of risks. We're going to be bringing a lot of innovation to the market and we're just excited to see what the mm -hmm. reactions that Oh my really god. Well, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've been like <laughs> a fan and a follower for so long now, so I'm like very excited that we got to have this chat. Yeah. Someone who's like, you know, an entrepreneur myself and like obsessed with beauty. It's so good to hear your guys' story. So I really appreciate you guys taking yeah, the time this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys like this episode of HP Fit TV. Don't forget to subscribe to more and follow Wander Beauty on Instagram and check out their product line. Again, huge fan over here, Foundation Sticks, but I have so much more, especially I'm get I'm gonna get on that wait list for those <laughs> eye masks ASAP. We're gonna fix mm -hmm. that. <laughs> we well, sold out four perk, times. Perk, perk over here. Perk, perk. Um, okay, cool. Thanks, guys.